Once the data has been collected for your activity, it needs to follow a process from being in its original raw state to transition through to the final primary data sets that will be analysed. This video introduces the key stages in this transition process. There are several formats raw data can take. The most common are the results from paper-based and electronic data collection activities. This tends to be the new data, which is collected as part of the activity. Other data from external sources, such as climate data from a local weather station, or historical sources, such as baseline survey data, can also be used to create primary data for an activity. Once the data has been collected or gathered from other sources, it can enter the transition process from raw to primary data. The first stage is planning, and this stage overlaps with work previously conducted when producing data collection tools. The planning stage involves thinking about how each piece of data is going to be handled and stored. This stage is required to be able to develop data entry software. Activities usually involve numerous pieces of data and decisions need to be made prior to data entry about which text data is going to be coded and which is going to be stored as a free text field, which data are numerical, how are missing values going to be entered, which variables are key identifier variables and as such need to be on all relevant data sets, etc. Activities also need to plan if dedicated data entry software such as CS Pro is going to be used, or if they are going to use more general software such as Microsoft Excel. More details about this stage can be found in the Storing Numerical and Non-Numerical Information video and the corresponding document. Data Entry For paper-based data, this can be achieved using software of varying complexities and abilities. If using specialist software, such as Access or CS Pro, an entry system should be designed to incorporate checks, whilst ensuring it remains intuitive for the staff to use. We recommend double data entry to reduce errors in the data due to this stage of the process. If using electronic data collection devices, the data collection and entry are combined into one step. Think ahead and provide spare parts or additional devices and regularly back up the data to avoid problems. Electronic data collection does mean that data entry errors cannot be eliminated through a process like double data entry, so ensure the data collection staff are thoroughly trained as the activity will be reliant on the original data entered. This is the creation of new or derived variables and data sets. Analysis usually involves derived variables. These are variables created or derived from those in the raw data. For example, the age of participants in groups rather than the raw exact ages, or yield in kilograms per hectare from the raw yield and plot size measurements. Similarly, entire derived data sets can be created. For example, taking daily climate data and summarising it so that a new derived data set has the monthly averages, which are then used in the analysis or combining the external or historical data with that collected by the activity. It is important to keep documentation detailing the creation of the derived variables and data sets. You should keep the program code or syntax used to perform the manipulations as part of the activity metadata. Throughout the whole transition process, data should be constantly checked for quality and validated. Data checks prior to the data manipulation stage are purely about checking the individual pieces of data. Derived variables and derived data sets should also be rigorously checked. At this stage, you are no longer focusing on data issues, but checking the manipulations have been conducted correctly. Once the raw data has been through the transition process of planning, data entry and data manipulation, the result is the primary data. Primary data sets should contain all of the variables required to conduct the analysis outlined in the analysis plan. More details about the transition from raw to primary data introduced in this video are available in the corresponding guide as part of the data management support pack. 